So Mojo is another champ I took to rank 5 primarily for Alliance War Defense, but I do enjoy using him on attack as well so I was looking forward to this one. He has been a staple in my Battlegrounds deck ever since taking him to rank 4, so I'm sure I'll continue to get plenty of value from him. The only annoying thing is now he does get banned a lot more, because he can still be quite annoying on defense if you don't have an appropriate counter and get bad prompt RNG. And the whole prompt system is part of why I find him quite fun to play. Just having to complete all these little tasks within the fight makes it a bit more interactive. Although I do wish he could ramp up a bit faster, because after you complete a prompt you have to wait for the anti-life field to expire before you get a new one. It only lasts 7 seconds but it does get paused during special attacks. So if it's a high power gain matchup where you have to bait a lot of specials it does take longer. And you have to complete 4 prompts in a row to fully ramp him up and get that big boy fury buff. But once you have it, the damage is quite nice, especially at max sick. At rank 5 he gets an additional 8008 attack rating. So without the fury buff, his damage certainly isn't terrible, but it's really not anything special at all. I mean, it's taking a bit of time to get through this weapon X, and he does have liquid courage and double edge. But once you get that fury and start spamming special 2s, they just start to melt. Even the hit damage isn't bad, we saw a 10k medium over there. And Weapon X went down before I could even see the degen numbers from the special 2. So I have one more Battlegrounds matchup against Terax, and this time no recoil masteries. And I also took more than half of his health after getting the Fury, so I got a better look at the difference it actually makes. So one nice thing about Mojo is you don't actually have to hit the opponent that much during the ramp up process, which can be advantageous against Terax, because you ideally want to avoid him when he has the rock field active. And you also tend to gain most of your power without actually hitting the opponent, since Mojo's combat power rate is reduced by 30% while attacking. And after 2 charges, you get half a bar of power for completing prompts. And once you have 5 or 5 million followers, you start placing hater buffs, which expire very quickly with the anti-life field. And that just feeds your power gain through Mystic Dispersion even more. And that's another thing I like about Mojo is how he deals with buffs. Like he's not your typical Mystic as in Nullify, Stagger or Fate Seal. Yes, his special one can Nullify but only one buff at a time so it's not exactly the most reliable form of buff control. But the Anti-Life Field is a little more interesting because it just reduces the duration of buffs by 90%, which can sometimes be better than Nullify, Stagger, Fate Seal or even Neutralize because we are seeing more champs that are immune to those effects and nodes that prevent or even punish you for applying those effects. The only downside is it only works on temporary buffs. To get rid of permanent ones, you would have to use a special one. And the special 1 is just poop for damage unfortunately. The special 2 is really where it's at and I like how the degens are passive because nothing is truly immune to degen and it's direct damage that can't be cleansed or purified so the damage is pretty consistent unless you're fighting someone like Ham or Negative, although you probably wouldn't want to use him for those unless you absolutely have to for some odd reason. But still in your generic matchups he does decent enough even if they don't have buffs. It's just a matter of getting that fury buff before you start seeing some solid damage. So today I decided to try him out against Sulk in the Thronebreaker EQ. First time facing her although I did see a special one so I knew it was an easy dex and punish. I don't really know much about her but she doesn't really seem like a defender. Apparently she can evade but I was fairly far away so I was pretty safe. Now that I'm re-watching this, I'm starting to pick up on a few things. Seems like she has an evade timer which goes on cooldown whenever you crit. But it only seems to activate on special attacks, I think. But anyway, back to Mojo. So he is my 8th rank 5 6 star, the second mystic and he is quite fun. He also goes nicely with my first rank 5 mystic because he has a synergy that gives the hood 3 bullets on each knockdown and that just makes him more sustainable or rather his damage output more sustainable for longer quests or long fights without buffs. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you found it interesting and as always, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.